Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What I wanted to do today is a big massive haul that I've had since the beginning of August. I've really restrained myself from um, from using any of these products. Uh, some of them are maybe not so restrained, but most of them I've been just like, no Mary, be patient. You will, you will have to do this before you can use any of these products. And so here I am, um, finally with this massive haul, hopefully you have some time and you enjoy what I've, uh, purchased or what I have here. So let's get started with Sephora. With Sephora, um, I just, honestly, I started off with this cute little, uh, Sephora favorites. It's the, uh, which one is this? Give me some lip, but this is a different version. This one is different from the the one I usually see from give me some lip this one has tart look at this cute pages packaging it has Kevon D Sephora uh, the fresh uh, brand and the sugar rose Mark Jacobs and makeup forever and all of these colors are beautiful so let's do some quick swatches. The Kevon D Lolita. That's a beautiful. Looks maybe somewhat like the one, the color pop that I'm <laughs> the color pop that I'm wearing. Remember, I wasn't able to restrain myself in all of them. So this is Lolita. It's a very coveted color, and why not? Look at that beautiful color. It's a like a nice brown rosy color. It's beautiful, and it is a matte. The next one is by Tarte. Look at that packaging on that little tube. Gorgeous. It's a little cardboard uh, container. It is in the color Coral Blossom. <laughs> Love that sound. That bloop. Anyway, so here is the color. It looks wet. Oh, wait, there's some condensation on here. Okay, so... Look at that color. Again, it's like a soft coral, uh, fresh. I've always wanted to try these lip, lip balms, but they're quite expensive. So when I saw this miniature one, I was like, sure, why not? It it was another reason why I wanted to try this, this Sephora favorite one. It's super glossy. It's super smooth. Super feels super moisturizing, not sticky at all which is something that I like in a balm. I don't want a balm to be super sticky or where I have a dog and all her dog hair is everywhere. And I don't want it to stick into my lip gloss. Uh, the last one is the main reason, this Marc Jacobs. Obviously a full size will be more expensive. This whole collection was $25. So when it has such beautiful colors and this Marc Jacob one, it like it's hard to pass up so this nice little color right here it's in the shade Jatem 238 from Marc Jacobs so let's go ahead and swatch that one right here okay maybe you can improve on your swatches Maria that's a nice like uh, sheer red it's not a strong bold red or anything like that it's most like most colors it's it's not in your face type of color. It's like an everyday red. So, two things I purchased from Sephora are some two more Kat Von D colors, a full size Lolita color, and this cranberry blood ox blood color called in the color right damn. Look at that. I know it looks black, but it's not. It's a, a, it is a blood red coagulated red another thing that I purchased and I've always had my eye on this collection or on this brand is the brand nest beautiful bottles beautiful uh, what is it called um, illustrations wish the scents were prettier too but no such luck and lastly the last thing that I purchased was this Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills palette and World Traveler. 
the only reason I bought this was because this color in particular called my eye like I love shimmery colors taupey shimmery colors I love this one's in a pink color so it's um, this azure it looks kind of light but in person it's dang it's on your face and that is beautiful love those colors anyway so I'm excited to try that one look at the hell oh, I love some orange like mm, olivey green colors that one is beautiful this one's in the color metallic uh, this one was in pink champagne and this one is azure but beautiful color so I can't wait to try it I also went on to Ulta and I was interested in the new makeup revolution products so I purchased two of the of the salvation velvet lacquers one is in the shade you took my love which is this hot fuchsia color right here and then the other one is in this purpley color and this one is in the shade rebel and i don't know if it compares to max rebel or not because i don't own it but i this is a beautiful color and i think it's lovely so it doesn't look purple but it is <laughs> trust me it the is the things that i purchased from uh that makeup revolution were the highlighters and i could not uh just pick one or the other i got so maybe all three purchasing all three is a bit overboard but look at those beauties this is in golden light look at that beautiful i should have put that one on today this second one is in peach light and the other one let's watch it over the other one so it's a little bit less it's maybe like uh it is a it looks pink to me it picks up pink see there and then there's radiant lights this is my favorite one it's not glittery and i'm wearing which one am i wearing i'm wearing radiant lights today oh man look at that glow which is this one right here you see that shine you see that mm, mm, mm. blinding any glasses to look at me straight <laughs> at an angle where, where my cheek catches the light the other thing that i hauled was from ColourPop, the ultra matte uh, lipstick the first time that lipsticks. the first time that they were uh color pop released these uh ultra matte lipsticks um they sold out super quick super fast and i wasn't able to purchase any of them so the second time around i got my hands on a few of them I only purchased five of them with my swatches the first one that i picked up with bumble which is this one right here it's a peachy like a soft dusty rose color it's a beautiful color right there the second one that i purchased is tool which is the one that i'm currently wearing right here Let's see is it tool yeah tool the third one is uh, I'm between nudes and hot pink type of uh, colors that I favor. So I this is in the color Mars. It looks brighter in the view viewfinder, and it's this one right here. The one after that is in the color Creeper, which is this red one right here, and they're already all dry. It, this one is like a fire engine red, a true red, um, and it's beautiful. And the last one is one of my favorites. This one really caught my attention. This one right here is called Avenue. And that one, it's like a brick red color. It is gorgeous. It's more for like a serious lady, a serious red lip. And I love it. I love all the colors that are dry. I didn't have any problems uh, putting this one on. It was an easy uh, application um, 
once they're dry, they are very drying, or dry feeling. So I do recommend using a lip balm uh, underneath. But yeah, so I was happy about these colors. And really these, they have, uh, ColourPop has a lot of uh, selection. But these were really the ones that caught my attention. Yeah, beautiful. Can't wait. I mean, honestly, like I said at the beginning, I'm doing this haul, this video, just so I can use them. And I couldn't wait anymore. So here we go. Originally, I also just went on to Elf. Elf elf is always sending me coupons or promotions and i think on this one it was uh 40 off on the best sellers and one of the best sellers um that i picked up was this blush brush and i feel like i wanted to use this one not so much for blush but for under eye when i'm trying to set my eye my uh, powder my concealer one of my favorite elf brushes is this concealer this one i don't use it for concealer i use it for my applique uh, applying my highlighter I feel like it's small enough and it precision is great on this one so this one this blush brush again it will be more for setting and it's soft enough the other thing that I picked up is this baked eyeshadow it is in the shade moonlight it's a vanilla -y, vanilla color and I feel like this would work great as a highlighter so let's see Lights. The other thing that I picked up and I was anxious and excited to try it was the eyeshadow palette. Um, this one's in the dark shades. Uh, that one looks beautiful. Wow, and they're super pigmented. Oh, wow. I'm barely touching it. I really like this one. This one is probably going to be my one of my favorite ones. This one in the corner has gold specks, if you see that closely. It's beautiful, beautiful colors and full, like super pigmented. See right here? The other thing that I picked up was, it's uh, the Prism, ah, Prism um, palette. The colors, ah. Right here, it's in the nude, naked, excuse me, naked colors. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this one. When I first got this one, I actually got scared that it was going to be broken and shattered because it was covered in eyeshadow. And I was like, oh no, if anything, I thought that one was the one that was going to be broken. But no, they're all intact. See right here? All intact. Beautiful colors. And then I also wanted to try this makeup setting mist from e.l.f. I haven't heard anything about it, um, but I'm always I'm in the search for a good makeup uh, makeup setting spray and primer. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, other random ones, other hauls, things that I purchased. This one I just recently purchased from Kmart. It's the line Prestige. This is in the shade Make Up Your Mind. It's a nice olive golden color and it's gorgeous. You see that up there? I'm wearing it on my eyelid today, right there. I applied it with a, a wet eye uh, eyeshadow brush. And then I also purchased the Real Techniques. <laughs> this is where I used it already. I used it today. Uh, Real Techniques um, Beauty sponge and so far so good i mean i saw i this is the first time i used it so we'll see how it ends up and then one of my last purchases is from hot look um morphe was recently on hot look or about two weeks ago it was on hot look and i had never purchased anything from morphe so but the first Morphe palette that I bought was a Jaclyn Hill Favorites. So based on that, I bought this one. This is in the warm shades. And then I also purchased the bold colors or the glam colors. And here are the colors. And all of them are super pigmented. If you know Morphe, you know they're good quality. And they were very inexpensive. The ones I'm trying to get my hands on right now is on the Soul Dot one, which is the 
a 350 and maybe also the the taupe one and i think that's it pretty much that was all my haul uh hopefully you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below see if you want me to go more into detail as, how, as far as how one of the products works or um if you want more swatches or more in-depth swatches uh, i know i swatched a few of the things but not everything or um, if you want to know how i did this makeup today uh follow my channel the tutorial should be on there already if not it should be coming soon okay um and that's it for today thank you love you for coming by i appreciate any any comments any thumbs up that i get from this video and hope to see you soon bye